Hello grade 12. Let's look at the following example from lesson 3, term 2. Okay. This example states, a block of mass 2 kilograms is being pulled up a frictionless inclined plane by a force of 20 newton, applied through the rope parallel to the plane. The plane makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. The block is pulled a distance of 1,8 meters along the plane. Calculate the work done by the net force on the block. Let's look at what is given to us, what we know from the problem. The block of mass 2 kilograms. So this is the mass of the block. It's been pulled up a frictionless plane, which is inclined. Frictionless plane means there is not friction. Okay, the force, the applied force is equal to 20 Newton. The surface make an angle of 30 degree with the horizontal and the displacement is 1,8 meters. So this is what is given to us, what we know about the problem. Before we go on, let's draw the free body diagram for the forces acting on the block. And to do that, let's draw the axis, in which the x-axis is going to be parallel to the surface. This is x-axis. And the y-axis will be perpendicular to the x-axis. The block is right here. What forces are acting on the block? First of all, there is the applied force up the incline. The applied force is being acting on the block up the incline. Okay. What are the forces acting there? The surface is acting on the block perpendicular to the surface with a force called a normal force. Okay. And the other force that is acting there is the gravitational force. And the gravitational force is straight towards the center of the Earth. Right. These are the three forces that act on the block. Okay. Now, let's see the first option, the first way we can use to calculate the work done by the net force. So, network is the algebraic addition of the work done by every force. So, it will be the work done by the applied force plus the work done by the normal force plus the work done by the gravitational force. Now, let's calculate the work done by each of the forces individually. Right? So, let's calculate first the work done by the applied force, which is equal to applied force multiplied by the displacement multiplied by the cosine between the applied force and the displacement. Let's go back to the picture and the free body diagram. The object is moving in that direction, right? And the applied force is also in that direction. Therefore, the angle between the applied force and the displacement is zero degree. So when you substitute, you have the applied force, which is 20 Newton, multiplied by the displacement, which is 1,8, multiplied by the cosine of zero degree. Right? And this is equal to, let's do the calculation here, is 20 times 1,8 times cos of m, zero degree. That's equal to 36 joules. So here is 36 joules. The first work done by a force. Let's go to the second one. Work done by normal force. It's equal to normal force multiplied by the displacement multiplied by the cosine of the angle between normal and displacement. And if you go here, objects moving in that direction normal is perpendicular to the surface and therefore the angle is 90 degree right so here when you substitute the angle theta is equal to 90 degree and remember 
cos of 90 degree is equal to zero. And every number multiplied by zero is equal to zero. Next one, we're done by gravitational force. It's equal to gravitational force multiplied by displacement multiplied by the cosine of the angle between the gravitational force and the displacement. Now let's go back here. The object is moving up the incline. So the angle between the displacement and the gravitational force will be this angle here. That angle will be the addition of 90, which is this one here, this part here, plus this one, plus this small angle, and this small angle is going to be the same as the inclination. So this one is 30 degrees. Therefore, the angle, the angle between the gravitational force and the displacement will be 90 plus 30 degrees. And we are going to do the following, just to remember this. When the object, when the object move up and incline, the angle between the gravitational force and the displacement will be 90 plus the angle of inclination. If the object is moving up the incline, then the angle will be 90 plus the angle of inclination. In other words, here will be 90 plus 30. Okay? So 90 plus 30 will be 120. So the word done by the gravitational force is equal to gravitational force, which we also don't have. We don't have the gravitational force. Remember, gravitational force is mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity. So you can substitute in the equation. We have mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity, multiplied by displacement, multiplied by cosine of 120 degrees. If we substitute the numerical values, we have the mass is 2 kilograms, acceleration due to gravity is 9,8, displacement is 1,8, cosine 120 degrees. So the work done by the gravitational force will be equal to, will be equal to, this 2 multiplied by no, 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 no. My mistake. 2 multiplied by 9,8 multiplied by 1,8 multiplied by cos of 120 degree. 17,64 negative. Minus 17,64 joules. And now, remember, what is the meaning of the negative here? Energy is being taken away from the system. Okay, so now we have the work done by every force. We can therefore calculate the work done by the net force. Okay? Net work done by the net force, or net work, is equal to the addition of all of them. First, 36 euros. Plus 0 minus 17,64.
36 minus 17, 64. 36, 36 minus 17, 64. Okay, the answer is 18,36. So the network is equal to what we say 18,36. Six years. Here is the word done by the net force. Now, this is the first option. This is the first option to calculate the work done by the net force. There is other option in which you calculate the net force first. So, in option two, option two, work done by the net force is equal to net force multiplied by displacement multiplied by the cosine of theta, angle between net force and displacement. And in this situation, let's also draw the free body diagram. Okay? So, let's draw the free body diagram. We have the x-axis. Perpendicular to this one, we have the y-axis. The forces that act here are the applied force the normal force and the gravitational force now note in this situation when we use in this method that gravitational force is in none of the axes so we are going to find out the component for the gravitational force in the y-axis as well as in the x-axis so we have two components so now we have to calculate the net force calculate the net force we need first of all the net force in X and we need the net force in Y alright so let's go to Y axis in Y axis what forces do we have F net is equal to, and let's take a positive y direction as positive. Therefore, we have that the normal will be minus the gravitational force in the y axis. Okay. And because the object is not moving in the y axis, this will be equal to zero newton. The network or the net force in the y axis is equal to zero. Now, when you go to the x-axis, in x-axis, we have that F net is equal to, what forces do we have there? We have the applied force and the gravitational force in x. So, we have that the applied force minus gravitational force in x. Now, gravitational force in x, this is the angle of inclination. 30 degrees. Remember the gravitational force in X. This is Newton's law done in grade 11. The gravitational force in X will be equal to gravitational force multiplied by sine of inclination, which is 30 degrees. So we have that the net force is equal to applied force minus gravitational force multiplied by sine 30 degrees if we substitute it's 20 minus um, gravitational force is mass times uh, acceleration due to gravity 2 times 9 comma 8 times sine 30 degree all right so this is equal to 20 minus minus 2 2 times 9 comma 8 times sine 30 
that is 9,8 minus this is 20 minus 9,8 20 minus 9,8 20 minus 9,8 is 10,2. So the net force is 10,2 newton. So we can now substitute into the equation for work. So we have the net work is equal to 10,2 multiplied by 1,8 cos of uh, the angle between the force and the um, displacement. Note that the net force is up the incline. Net force is positive up the incline. Therefore, this is zero degree. So what is the answer here? 10 comma two times one comma eight. 10 comma two times um, 1,8 18,36 joules. This is the work done by the net force. You can see that is the same using either way. Thank you. Next time we'll explain um, another example.